Hello, boys and girls. Today is lesson 15. We're on session two, page 333. Look at all those threes in our math notebook. So we're continuing to work on making a 10 to subtract. So 10 is super friendly. If you can get to 10, hopefully um, the rest will be easy for you. So um, on page 333, there is a red baseball cap. And it says, coach has 14 hats. He gives out six hats. How many hats are left? So we're gonna circle 14, six. And then it says he gives out, remember gives, gives away, gives out and left. Those are word clues. So you're gonna do 14 minus six. I'm gonna say go, you're gonna do it. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I would do it. So this is try it, which means you're trying it on your own. It doesn't matter if you're right. It doesn't matter if you get parts wrong. All that matters is that you try. Okay, so go ahead and pause this and then restart. And then I'm gonna show you what I would do. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different strategies um, for 14 minus six. The first, which is probably where if you're struggling with subtraction is where you're gonna start. I want you to start with these dots and then I want you to move on to harder strategies. Um, and that'll happen the more that you do it, okay? So I'm gonna draw my 14 dots, one, two, three, four, five. I like to put them in rows of five. So in this row, there's five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I like to do that because then when I start to do make 10 to subtract, hopefully it'll be easier for you to see. All right, I put them in a tens frame. You just can't see the lines of the boxes. Now I'm gonna cross out six, do not erase, do not erase. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count what's left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 14 minus six is eight. He should have eight left over. So now um, I'm gonna show you a different strategy, one that you could have used, which is um, 14 minus six. I don't know the answer yet. I do know that 14 number bond is 10 and four. So I'm gonna do 14 and I'm gonna take away the four that I know will get me to 10. Because if I add 4 to 10, I know it'll get me to 14. So the opposite, 14 minus 4 is 10. See that number bond? All right, great. So I'm at 14 minus 4 is 10, but I'm not taking away 4. I'm taking away 6. So I'm pulling out that 4 that I already used here. These are the same number. 4, 5, 6. There's 2 left over. So I need to take away 2 from that 10. And I know my friends are 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. And look at that, here's my tens frame. I took away these four to get me to 10. And then I took away two more to get me to eight. Okay, awesome job. Hopefully this is starting to make a little bit more sense. And if not, it's okay. We're just gonna keep going because you can do hard things. All right, um, on the next page, there's a model it and they use a number line. It's my favorite. Um, I'm going to keep this up because it, I think, explains the number line to you. So um, remember with a number line, when you're subtracting, you move this way on the number line. Because look, I start out at 14, my numbers are getting smaller. So you're going to move back on the number line. Because if you go this way, your numbers are getting bigger. But we're subtracting, so we always start with the biggest number. So I'm going to do, um, let's see, I'll start out at... 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. I only have to go to 14 because that's where I start. And I'm subtracting, so I jump that way. All right. Now, same thing. I'm going to underline where I start. I don't know that my answer is 8 yet, so I'm going to work my way back. Now, you could either do it one at a time, taking six jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 circle where you land near on eight. Then you count those jumps, minus one, plus minus one, plus minus one, plus minus one, plus minus one, should equal six. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one equals six. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, and I'll just start at um, 11, 12, 13, 14. Another way to do it is starting on the 14, because that's where I start. 
then I can jump back four to get me to 10 because 10 is a friendly number. I know six breaks down into four and two. So I can take jumps back. So I can say one, two, three, four. I land on 10, but I'm not done yet. I made it to 10, but now I need to go two more. One, two. So my real answer is eight. So this is showing you this. I'm starting at 14, I'm taking six jumps back, but I broke it down into four and two because I'm trying to get to the 10. So if I didn't know um, the four and the two, I would just jump all the way back to 10. Now I made it to 10, I'm gonna count how many jumps? One, two, three, four. So what that shows is 14 minus four is 10. But then I keep going because I need to do two more to get me to six. One, two, and the answer is eight. And there are eight has left. So I hope that makes sense, but the number line is really easy. It can be your friend. The more comfortable you get with it, I think the more you'll like it. Um, number one on the bottom says, how is your way like model it? How is it different? So um, maybe you did some of the things I did. Maybe you did um, the number line. Hopefully you got the same answer that 14 minus six is eight. All right, we're gonna turn the page and we're on page 335. You'll see some stamps up at the top. It says Buzz finds 13 minus five, 13 minus five. And it gives you the number line. It says three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And it says, what is wrong? So, what Buzz did is he started out at 13. I can see that. He jumped back one, two, three numbers. So it's three. And then he jumped back five minus five. We'll do minus three because when you're moving this way, it means you're subtracting on the number line. Okay. Or when you subtract, I should say you move that way. Okay, the opposite because for addition, because addition and subtraction are opposites. Okay, so um, what is wrong? What did he do wrong? Well, let's see. What he did is he did 13 minus three, and he also, and then he minus, and then he took away five more, which three and five is eight. So he did 13 minus eight. So he was trying to get to five. That was what he thought his answer was. I think that's what he did. He was trying to get to five, but he only needed to take five jumps. So what you'll say is, um, he, what was his mistake? What is wrong? Um, he took eight away, comma, not five. So he should have just taken five away but instead he was trying to land on five, I think, because he took eight jumps, five and three is eight. He took eight jumps to get to five when he should have just taken five jumps. He took eight away, not five. So he should have just taken 13 minus five, which is three, four, five, which is eight. Okay, so it's really 13 minus five is eight, not 13 minus eight is five, okay? All right, number three, Sam has 15 stamps. I'm going to keep that up there so you guys can see which way you move when you're subtracting on a number line. Sam has 15 stamps. He uses, that's another word clue, that's, they're gone, they're gone. He has 15, he uses nine stamps. So I know I can break down nine into five and four. So I'm gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. You're going to start out at 15 and you're going to hop back five spaces because 15 is 10 and five. And look, the five is there as well. 
pretty cool. So I'm going to start out at 15 and I'm going to go to 10. That's going to be my next stopping point. One, two, three, four, five. So 15 minus five is 10. So this 10 or that five is the same one, but now I need to take away the rest, which is four, 10 minus four. I'm gonna take four jumps back. One, two, three, four. I land on six. And hopefully maybe some of you are like, oh, it's gotta be six because I know four plus six equals 10. So 10 minus four has to equal six. So if I count these up, this is where we'll put a box around that one. This is minus five. And this is minus four. So five and four makes nine. I had nine jumps to do. Awesome. I am loving this. I hope you are too. If not, it's okay. Just keep going. All right. The next one is find 12 minus seven. So 12 minus seven. Okay. 12 is 10 and two. So now I know I need to pull out a two out of there. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven is five. So I'm going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. I'm going to hop back to minus two, because I know 12 minus two is 10. Okay. Then I'm going to hop back five because five plus two here is seven. One, two, three, four, five. And my answer is five. 10 minus five is five. And this would be minus five. One, two, three, four, five, five jumps. But I took seven. I just took a pit stop at number 10 because I know 12 is equal to 10 plus two. All right, number five, find 11 minus five. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. 11 is 10 and 1. 5, I need to pull out that 1. So it's always the other number that goes along with this 10. So it's going to be 1 and 4. So I'm going to start at the 11. I'm going to hop back 1 to make my pit stop at 10. Minus 1. Label that jump. Now I need to hop back 4 more to get to the 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. My answer is six. Now, some of you already know five plus six is 11 or six plus five is 11 because you know six plus four is 10 and you know five plus five is 10. So it's one more. But I want you to focus on the strategy of jumping on the number line and finding those stops. All right, the next one, you have to fill in the numbers on the number line and it's 12 minus eight. So I'm going to do um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. I know 12 is 10 and two. So I'm gonna have to pull out a two because the 10, I'm trying to get to 10, that's my pit stop. So two plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus six is eight. So I'm gonna hop back to one, two to get to 10. This is my minus two. And then I have six more to go. One, two, three, four, five, oop, six. My answer is four. So this side I did minus six. This side I did minus two because together they equal minus eight. All I'm doing is taking stops to get me to 10 because I know what 12 equals. I know what my 10 numbers are. My 10 numbers are 10 plus one is 11. So 11 minus one is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12, so 12 minus 2 is 10. Okay? Awesome. Great. All right, the next two pages are practice. So you're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. So the first one on page 337, problem number one is 14 minus 9. I know 14 is 10 plus 4, so I need to pull out a 4. 
four plus four is eight, so four plus five must equal nine. Now I'm gonna draw it on the number line, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only have to go to 14 because I'm starting with 14. Now I'm gonna hop back four to get me to 10. One, two, three, four. I think my pit stop at 10, this is minus four. Now I'm gonna do, I did that. Now I'm gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, five. And my answer is five. Okay, oops, you can't see my 14, but I started out at 14. All right, number two is 13 minus five. Okay, um, I'm gonna break this down into 10 and three. So now this one I know needs to be three and two. So I'm gonna do eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oops. So I only have to go to 13. So you don't, you don't need to do all that extra work. I'm gonna take three back, one, two, three, to make my pit stop at 10. So that my three is done. Now I'm gonna take two more, one, two, and my answer is eight. Okay, so remember, you're gonna pull out those teen numbers, stop at 10 because 10 is a friendly number, and then that other number is going to match up, okay? All right, we'll do um, 11 minus six. Again, you guys might already know what 11 minus six is, but I want you to work on this strategy. 11 minus six, 10 and one, right? Six is going to be one and five, and a one plus five. So I'm gonna do my number line. Okay, I stopped at 11, I'm gonna start at 11, jump back minus one, done. I'm breaking down my jumps into numbers that I know, and I'm stopping at 10 because it's a friendly number. And then I'm gonna hop back five to get to six. One, two, three, four, five. My answer is five. The last one says 12 minus seven, 10 and two, two and five. So I'm gonna do um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, I'm gonna start out at 12. Okay, I'm gonna take seven jumps back, but I'm breaking them into two and five so I can stop at my friendly 10. There's minus two, one, two, three, four, five, minus five. So together that equals seven. Your answer is five. Whew. Take a break, you deserve it. Um, if you need to watch any of this again, please do, because I know this is really pushing those limits of your understanding. Um, but what it's really doing, boys and girls, is it's helping your number sense. So the more comfortable you get adding, um, breaking down, um, playing with numbers and how they break apart and how they add back together is just really good for you and will help you for the rest of your life. So I will see you tomorrow for some more math.